All right, thanks, Laura. The community is rallying behind a seven-year-old Jenison girl who ended up in the hospital on life support after being hit by a car. Her younger brother was right there with her when it happened. Our Angela McCall went to this prayer vigil tonight where friends and family gathered at the parents' home. Neighbors, relatives, even strangers coming out to pray for seven year old Ruby Risley, who on Thursday was walking home from school and was suddenly hit by a car. Father, we uh, just pray for Ruby tonight. We pray for your healing on her life. A community on Friday praying for a miracle. <laughs> Seven-year-old Ruby remains at the hospital in critical condition rather than at home with her siblings. Really, Ruby was like the glue. Uh, three, three brothers, one older and two younger, and she was just the one that, that pulled those three boys together. And uh, I think they even describe her as the magnet. So just really a, a sweet lady, a young lady. Um, outgoing and uh, full of energy. Such a strong little girl. Pastor yeah, Caleb Father, Beefus we, we lives next door to... and has always seen Ruby constantly with her brothers outside. So she was just as tough as they were. Um, I don't want to say too much of a tomboy, but uh, um, she would, uh, they would, they would not get the upper hand on her at all. Um, so she was just, uh, whatever they were doing, she was right there with them. That electric personality was the same at home and in class at Bursley Elementary where she was full of life. Just, you know, kind of a, a dream student, so to speak, in a classroom that makes your classroom come alive. So um, I, I tell you, our, our prayers are with her and her family because she, uh, she just means a whole lot to our family here at, uh, at Genesis Public Schools and particularly Bursley. Some of the Bursley family, teachers and classmates here, hoping for a miracle knowing just how serious Ruby's injuries are. Say that Ruby is not going to make it. <laughs> They're with her for her final moments right now. And, uh, let's, let's pray more for, for them. It's not the message anyone wanted, with many here still holding on to the chance for a miracle. Even as we see the gravity of the situation and how it was getting worse and worse. We just thought, well, what more uh, could we do than, than remember that she is in God's hands? In Jenison, Angela McCall, Fox 17 News. And there is a GoFundMe set up for the family to help with medical costs. If you would like to donate, that link is available on our website at fox17online.com.